Hi, I'm Hub Arkish for the Chicago Sun-Times with our NFC Divisional Playoff Previews. And the weekend will kick off with the Seattle Seahawks hosting the New Orleans Saints. Remember, the Saints went out to Seattle in the regular season, I believe, on a Monday night. And it was not pretty for New Orleans as Seattle beat them every way they could. Little different Saints team. They now have their first road playoff victory in history. Remember, this is a team that was 3-5 three on the three and five on the road in the regular season, had never won on the road in the playoffs, were 0-5, but they were pretty impressive of not only going into Philadelphia and winning last week, but doing it like a cold weather team. They did it with their ground game. They pounded away with Mark Ingram, Drew Brees. Yeah, he made a few mistakes with the interception, but for the most part ran a controlled passing game and they played great defense. And that's the key with the Seattle Seahawks. You know, the Seattle Seahawks are right now the number one seed in the NFC, arguably the best team in the NFL, probably the best defense in the NFL, but they have struggled both on and off on the offensive side. Will they have Percy Harvin to give them a down the field weapon to challenge that Saints defense? Will that offensive line has been banged up all year finally be healthy enough to handle the Saints pressure? You know Rob Ryan is going to dial up a lot of very exotic blitzes for Seattle. Russell Wilson can handle that but if they can contain him in the pocket, the Arizona Cardinals created the roadmap for that. Don't let Wilson get down the field. That New Orleans defense can cause some problems for him. So certainly Seattle a prohibitive favorite here but based on what we saw last week from the Saints, maybe they've got a few answers they didn't have when they visited in the regular season. Sunday, the early game is probably the best game of the weekend as the Mike Ditka coaching tree is on display. Ron Rivera's Carolina Panthers will host Jim Harbaugh's San Francisco 49ers fresh off their victory over the Green Bay Packers and it was an impressive win. Colin Kaepernick did just enough to win the football game for him, but it was their defense that was the difference in those oppressive conditions at Lambeau Field and Green Bay. Conditions figure to be much better in Charlotte as the Panthers are at home. And these teams constructed very similarly. They're going to try and play great defense. They're going to try and pound away with their running games and make a play here and there in the passing game to get it done. Cam Newton has not been tested on this stage. Remember Colin Kaepernick went all the way to the Super Bowl last year, so you would think at least the experience in these conditions goes to Kaepernick, even though these are two young quarterbacks still waiting to prove themselves. The big question for the Carolina Panthers, will their perennial Pro Bowl wide receiver Steve Smith be able to go. He says he's going to go. He had that patellar tendon injury in his knee, did not have any surgery. They have to have him in order to open up the field a little bit for their running game against the San Francisco 49ers. These are the number two and number three scoring defenses in the NFL. Carolina was second in points allowed. 49ers were third. This game could very easily turn on one key mistake or a big play by either offense. Should be a real head knocker, the kind of games we've come to expect and love in the playoffs. For all the best coverage of the NFL playoffs and the Super Bowl, Chicago Sun-Times is the only place you want to be. Get it right here at chicagosuntimes.com.